bud You know it used to be mad love So take a look what you've done Cause baby now we got bad blood Hi, Jasmine Garcia Yes, Jasmine Garcia Yes, Jasmine my name is Ruth and I'm Dr. Um, Smith's MA. Can you please verify your birth date? Yeah, it's 2 1999. Okay. Um, are you fasting? Yes. Okay. Um, are you allergic to any latex? No. Okay. Um, are you taking um, any blood thinners? No. Okay. I'm going to be taking your blood draw today, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Today I'm going to show you the supplies you're going to need for a blood draw. So first we're going to start off with the alcohol prep pads. You want it to be 70% isoprol alcohol. Next we're going to use a straight needle. Make sure that you don't expose the needle on the end. Then you're going to need some tape to tape your patient. You're going to need gloves, latex. You're also going to need gauze uh, to stop the bleeding and to hold pressure. Vacutainer tubes, this will depend on the test. These are green ones. And lastly, you can also use a butterfly needle, which is also called a wing set infusion. And these are gonna be the supplies that you'll need. I keep my hands on myself. taking your blood today is that okay with you yeah. okay perfect so we're gonna use um, your hand okay all right so I'm gonna tie the tourniquet here always ask the patient if that um, it's comfortable or if it's too tight does that feel okay yes that's fine. okay perfect can you put this other hand underneath for me sure. and then make a tight fist <clears throat> So here I am um, palpating for a vein. You want to try to find a vein that's nice and squishy. Um, this can take a minute or so. Um, never go for what you see because you can see veins in our hand clearly these ones here but you always want to go for what you can feel over uh, what you can see. So I found one here. So I'm going to take the tourniquet off. I'm going to come over to my station, <clears throat> grab the alcohol, and I'm going to do concentric circles to clean where I'm going to go in. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my wing set infusion. Always use the gray part to screw in. Just like that. And then be careful because these come apart sometimes. Just like that. And then I have my tube ready as well. So I'm going to come back, tie the tourniquet. Squeeze that fist again. I'm just going to give it a second to let the veins come up. Make sure not to touch it after you have cleaned it. If you need to touch it again, you can always clean it again as well. Okay. All right, now that I've given it time, always make sure the words are facing upwards. I'm going to take the plastic off. The bevel is really small, but you want it facing upwards the whole time. And you're going to anchor. And you're going to go in. And when you get it, you'll see a flash of blood just like that. 
You can let go of the butterfly because the wings will sit down on the hand. Put your tube in and it'll start coming down and filling up. Just like that. And you're going to release the tourniquet. Pull out your tube. Grab your gauze. And you're going to go over the needle. Pull out. Ask your patient to apply pressure. Can you apply pressure for me? Yes. And then you're going to lock your needle by pulling up on the yellow. Um, this is always going to go into the sharps container. You're going to ask your patient, can you verify that that's you? Yep. Perfect. Put it away. And then you're going to grab your tape. And you're going to tape your patient just like that. And then you're just going to say, can you make sure that you um, apply pressure on that for a little while so it doesn't bruise? Okay. Perfect. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the three veins that you need um, for an arm draw. Um, these are, you could choose from any three of these. Um, so the first one is the basilic. This one's going to run along the inner part of the elbow. This is your last resort um, because it is near that brachial artery. So... Um, normally it's going to be coming about this way, just like that. Um, the next one that we're going to go over is the median cubital. Um, this is the most popular one. There's multiple veins that run in here, all sorts of ways down the middle. Um, and then the last one is going to be the cephalic. Um, this one's going to be when you turn the arm on the outside. It's going to be right here. Um, this is going to be your second resort uh, when you do a blood draw. So you have your first resort in the middle, your second resort here, and this is the last resort. And when you're doing the basilic, make sure you always feel for a pulse um, first. So the first thing you wanna do is introduce yourself with your patient and also identify the patient. I'm gonna draw her blood, so you wanna put the tourniquet on to palpate for a vein. I'm going to go with this one, and this is a cephalic. You want to take off the tourniquet. You're going to want to cleanse the site with alcohol prep pad. And I'm going to leave it on there just to see where the vein is going, just in case you lose it. You want to assemble your needle. And then you're going to want to um, reapply the tourniquet. Take off the cap. Make sure the bevel is facing upwards. You're going to want to anchor and go in. Grab your tube. Make sure to use your flanges. I'm gonna do two tubes, so we're gonna wait till it fills up. Remember to use your flanges when you're pulling it out. And then you wanna take off your tourniquet. Make sure you don't pull out the needle. You, the patient can open their hand. Pull out the tube. Grab a gauze. Make sure to not apply pressure before you take it out. Apply pressure, lock your needle, put it in the sharps, show your patient. Okay. And then you're gonna wanna grab your Band-Aid. It might still be going, so just apply pressure. And then you want to put on the band-aid. 
remember to ask the patient how they're doing. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And that's it. Guys, I'm going to show you the three veins that you're going to use for an arm draw. So we're going to start with um, the cephalic vein. Oh, fuck. I messed it up. <laughs> it was a Cause baby, now we got bad blood. You know it used to be mad love. So take a look what you've done. 